Welcome back guys. Today we are going to be experimenting with this levitating globe and we're going to be putting it in a vacuum chamber and shooting a laser at the edge. I am super excited for this. We talked about doing this uh, video actually a while ago, mm -hmm. but we had some complications with stuff, but we should have everything right. And I want to see how fast we can get this thing. And just maybe we're going to try to put our mushroom cow in there and see how fast he's Yes. Playing. Yes. So <laughs> let's do it. This is going to be the vacuum chamber that we're going to use. Right now we're, uh, it's set up for microwave CVD, but we're going to be retrofitting it to house our base plate for the levitator. And we're basically going to place it in the center and shine a laser through this viewport to hit the, the edge of it so we can get a little bit of rotation. I'm taking this uh, feed through so we can feed the electricity to power the, the actual levitation mechanism. How's my hair? All very good. All very good. All right, we're getting the lid fastened. We got a elastomer gasket placed so we can get some uh, vacuum seal. And now we're putting on the port and the feed through so we can power it on and test it out. To absolutely everybody's surprise, I am doing something. Just tightening away. We've got the power supply for the levitator and we're gonna basically cut it in the middle and solder each side to either side of this vacuum feed through. For those of us not as scientifically educated, what is a vacuum? We are surrounded by a bunch of gas, oxygen, nitrogen, helium, and a bunch of other gases. Basically what we do in a vacuum chamber is remove those gases from a vessel. So within here, will have less pressure than the outside. And that is basically what a vacuum is. Very good. We all learn more every day. <laughs> but we set up the levitation thing right in here. So hit it there, give it a spin. And then the idea of the vacuum chamber is that the friction is less? Yes. Friction is less, okay. Less friction. So basically space, if I'm correct. Yep. Yeah, so basically spinning it in space. Yep. That sounds fun. Yes, so this right. is our feed through. We're gonna be plugging in our AC to the socket. And then this is gonna go inside the vacuum chamber and we're gonna plug this into our little electromagnetic. Dude, I don't know how this guy makes everything. He just made, he just made that. Like, just, <laughs> like how did you put that together? That's so cool. I am I'm not the science one. If anyone has guessed that so far, I am always, just trying to capture things. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how you're gonna get the power in there. Same. Luckily I have tons of random gizmos components. <laughs> gizmos, gadgets. And gadgets. Okay, Lennon is jerry rigging that little laser pen to hit an angle perfectly in there. Yeah. This is how real science is done. It's already starting to spin. We've got the vacuum chamber ready to go. We've got our little makeshift laser system shooting at the corner of that levitating plant holder. And now we're just gonna vacuum down the chamber and wait for it to actually start gaining speed. Also, I just realized that as soon as we turn this vacuum pump on, the whole configuration is gonna shoot up and launch that plate. How much? Like inches? Yeah. Will it settle back down? No. Oh. So we need to put some sort of brace to keep it from doing that, I think. Off to the next challenge. Next challenge. <laughs> we thought we were about to hit play. All right, well, we thought we hit a wall, but coincidence really came in clutch. Landon randomly grabbed this piece of metal, and it just so happens to fit perfectly right in there. So we just saved probably an hour or so of tiddling around with random stuff. So let's go. All, all three of them? Uh, just these two on the side over here. This one over here. All right guys, we're getting ready to power this on. We've got a vacuum officially and we've got a our laser pointed directly where we need it to be. If you like what we're doing, if you think this is really cool like we do, like, subscribe, and yeah, we're gonna be making a lot more experiments like this.
So currently we have the floating system floating in the opposite direction from where we're aiming the laser. So right now we're trying to switch the directions using just the laser. And we're gonna leave it running overnight and see if we're able to get that to happen. And we'll go take it from there.